Alrighty, welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today we are looking at the, what is that, third and final Christmas gift from the best wife in the world. That would be my wife. She got me this whiskey uh, for Christmas. Uh, bless her heart, it is amazing. Uh, I've already tapped into this a little bit. Once again, we are in Isla. This is Ardbeg 10. Uh, so, the next video that I do is going to be a cross-comparison between Ardbeg 10, Lefroig 10, and then, let me make sure this is 10, yeah, 10, um, Lefroig 10, and then my Lagavulin 16, uh, just to kind of discuss some of the variances from the different distilleries on the Isla region of Scotland. The Isla, Isle of Isla. I don't know how I want to state that. Something along that framing. Um, so, Ardbeg 10. Uh, if you are familiar and or a member of the Whiskey Tribe, such as myself, the cult of Ardbeg is strong on that channel, right? So a lot of people really, really like this whiskey. Um, I don't disagree with them. It's a good one, as we shall see here very quickly. But uh, I don't think that it's actually... The best. I, I think the Lafroig and the Lagavulin are better. I think actually the Lagavulin, in my personal opinion, is the best. But we will save that for yet another time. So here we go. Ardbeg 10. Isle of Scotch. What do we got here? We got 46% ABV, so that makes it what, 92 proof? Um, so a little bit higher in alcohol. Now, one thing you'll notice, out of all three of those whiskeys that I just mentioned, this Ardbeg, if you can see, is extremely light in color for a 10-year whiskey. And, um, you know, it's, it's also pretty light in comparison. Now, I literally just, like, two seconds ago, got done shooting my Lafroig 10 video. And I know you're probably watching this video about a week separate because I'm going to release the Lefroig 10 video first and I'm going to drop that on one Saturday and then the following Saturday I will drop this video with the Ardbeg 10. So even though you're watching this probably a week apart, I'm shooting these videos uh, about two minutes apart. And um, I have to say coming off of that Lefroig 10, the nose on this is tamped way down. So all of the elements that I've previously described in both the Lefroig 10 and the Lagavulin um, are found in this whiskey. So the Isla Scotch is known for their peatiness. They're smoky, ashy. That is here. And I would say that the iodine component of the nose dominates the most. But... I will say Ardbeg allows for more of the malt to come through in the nose and more of a sweeter fruit nose kind of exist alongside of that maltiness and then overlaying that is the peaty, smoky ashiness. Okay, but I would say that it's all those nose profile characteristics are substantially less in volume, even though the alcohol content is 3% higher than the Lefroig 10, they seem to be way more toned down. <clears throat> you know, like I really have to stick my nose in there to pull those uh, nose profiles out. On the taste, on the taste, I get more of that sweet, kind of honey, uh, maltiness, first then it pushes into an oak and a peaty smokiness just a hint of ash and then the the um the finish is kind of this salty brininess um maybe half as much as what the Lefroig 10 presented as peat Smoke, sweet, oak, 
briny, a little bit of iodine, salt. That's kind of the flavor profile there. So once again, there's just nothing not to like about the Ardbeg 10. In fact, uh, the best thing about the Ardbeg 10 compared to the others um, is that I uh, picked up this bottle for $49.29. So this is the cheapest out of the three bottles um, of scotch. And I will reiterate that point when I do the head-to-head -head comparison. In fact, I just because I'm enjoying this whiskey so much right now, the next video I shoot... The last video I shoot today, because I'll probably have had enough whiskey at that point, will be the head-to-head -head of all three of these Isla Scotches. Um, but I will say uh, there's nothing bad to say about this. Uh, and in fact, if you're not as on board with a really intense peat smoke and uh, ashiness, I'd say go with the Ardbeg 10. The Laphroaig and the Lagavulin have more of a smoke characteristic. I do have to say, though, that the uh, Lagavulin has more of a fruit component to it, in my opinion. But, yeah, just nothing bad to say about the Ardbeg. Um, might be a good introductory. The price is a little bit cheaper, and it's a, maybe a little bit more accessible for people to try. But... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I got nothing bad to say about Isla's. In fact, I'm a huge fan. I am uh, eager to try my hand at more and see what else I can find. The problem I have with Isla's is they tend to jack up in price quite a bit more from uh, the current range that I'm sipping on, uh, which means that they're probably not going to be accessible to me. Even though I can buy them on the shelf, I'm just not willing to cough up $100 plus dollars for something. Um, but I'm going to explore that more in videos to come. So until then, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Um, if you're watching this on BitChute, thank you so much. Same with Minds.com. If you're on YouTube and watching this, please consider some of the alternative texts uh, such as BitChute because I'm going to start pulling my content back from YouTube just because um, it, it's just hard to keep going in the current environment that we're in. So. Um, but you know what? If YouTube is where you're at, then great. Thanks for watching. Drop in the comments down below on no matter which platform you're watching this, uh, what you can find a bottle of Ardbeg 10 for in your area. Also, if you have any experiences with Ardbeg, drop that in the comments down below as well. I'd be curious to see what you have to say about it. Uh, clearly, you've gotten to see what my perspective is. And um, you know what? I would like to, like to hear what other people have to say. Anyways, um... Got anything else to say? Put that in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. We'll catch you in the next video.